exotic pests are around us, and more are coming. Here, in the western suburbs of Perth, we are fighting an invasion. And it's happening in everyone's backyard, and it's destroying the products of our beautiful garden. It's the Queensland fruit fly. We have all seen this in the news recently, haven't we? Because just a few weeks ago, 15,000 properties in the western suburbs of Perth have been quarantined to deal with this outbreak. I used to get organic limes from Susanna and Dalkit and do the best margaritas ever, trust me. <laughs> but I won't get them this year because she had to trash all over fruits. So let me tell you, I do have a problem with this pest. <laughs> but it's not the only case. Some pests are not as visible from our perspective. They move underwater and they don't make much noise. But they're even a bigger problem than the ones on land. The invasive mosquito fish is one of the 100 world worst invasive pests. It colonizes rivers and lakes globally. So let me tell you what happens when, uh, to other fishes when this pest arrives. Their tail gets bitten off. They cannot swim nor feed properly, and infections occur. Yeah, it's nasty, isn't it? So you might not be surprised that uh, they quickly die, leaving behind more space and resources for mosquito fish to flourish. This is happening now in the city lake nearby your house, as in the most remote and pristine river of WA. And the thing is, methods to eradicate this pest don't exist. So the real question is, is there anything that we can do than wait for things to get worse? Technology offers us tools that we never had before. Tools that might be invaluable for fighting pests. I am a biologist, and I work with mechanical and aerospace engineers. Together, we made the, the mosquito fish's worst nightmare became real. It's a, a robotic fish that mimics the characteristics of super predators in North America that have successfully controlled mosquito fish for centuries. And uh, here it is. <laughs> It looks like a $3 toy that my daughter would play with, but it's actually much more. Uh, it acts uh, like a bodyguard um, for the uh, native species and as a predator for the invasive pest. So picture this. You're a little fish, and the jaws-like predator is coming for you. It's not fun. Um, it doesn't eat them if that's what you're wondering. It does something better. It scares them and stress them to a point that it alters their behavior permanently. They quickly lose weight and the capacity to breed and live longer. So with a brief and localized action, we can have large effects that pass from fish to fish and have the potential to collapse the entire population. How cool is that? Hopefully, soonish, we might have a variety of options to fight with several pests and hopefully look after our lines. <laughs>